Alright guys, so you've all been asking for it, I'm going to go through my loadout today because, you know, you want to know why I'm such an awesome player, why I'm so good at the game, so I'm going to show you my loadout and I'm going to show you my skills, my weapons, all that good stuff. So first up, most importantly, we have my sword. My sword is level 90 because I have let orcs kill me so many times that two of them actually broke it. And when you go back and you kill that orc, uh, you get your sword back and it gets 5 levels, 90 is the maximum it can get to. Uh, it's also a freshing sword, which most importantly gives me an explosive uh, glaive attack, which is, uh, honestly, I use it constantly and I think it's, it's a must. And the gem I use for that is a green gem because I want to steal as much health as possible whenever I attack. Um, I'd also recommend using a red gem just to increase your attack damage if that's what you want to go with. Next we have my dagger. Uh, nothing insanely special here. The main thing is I love the quick throws. So I'll change daggers between having a poison quick throw or having a fire quick throw. And uh, yeah, that's the main thing when it comes to daggers for me. For bows, I usually go for a bow that has 15 shots, you know, 15 elf shots. I think elf shots are so important and I go for them like crazy. But I'm actually going to change back to my favorite ever bow, which is this bow, which causes people's heads to explode whenever I hit them. And I can also shoot through multiple enemies at once, which is unique to this type of bow. Next up, I have the darkest armor here. The main thing this armor does is that it has a 50% chance of people, whenever they hit me, becoming poisoned. Which I really like, you know, it punishes them for having the absolute cheek, the absolute nerve to strike the Dark Overlord. Next up we have the helmet. Usually I go for the mask of the Fell Rider. Uh, mainly because whenever I summon a grog, it summons an elemental grog, which is completely badass. You know, the grogs are awesome. Um, you get these helmets whenever you finish whenever you finish the campaign, whenever you finish the game, and you also have to finish all of the final raids on all of your forts to get these special helmets, basically to get the tree ending of the game. Whenever you do this, you'll get a few of them. You can see this one summons uh, some Gondorian whites, which is very cool as well. And uh, yeah, but I go with the Elemental Grog one because I love it. And also, I think it's the coolest looking helmet. For rings, I go for this ring, which uh, increases how long people stay poisoned. You know, I've got kind of a poison build right now. Um, but yeah, rings, I know you can go with anything. This one's pretty good as well. It uh, increases the damage that followers do to enraged enemies, which is really good. Because whenever you get to a high level, most of the orcs that you find are going to be enraged constantly. Let's just cover the rest of the gems. For the ring, I use a white gem to increase follower level whenever I recruit new followers. For my hood, I use a green one to increase my overall health. For my armor, I use a red one to increase attack. Same for the bow. And for my dagger, I use a white one. Basically means that there's a chance of me getting some of that delicious, delicious Mordor, Mordor money uh, whenever I assassinate someone. For the skill tree, I'm just going to cover some of the crucial skills that I think you need to have in order to be an absolute badass in the game. When it comes to self kills, I think you have to go for the Wraith Chain, you know, it basically means you can kill 5 enemies in one go. It also makes Vendetta self kills really easy. Spectral Dash as well, love that for when you're being stealthy, you can just dash around like Nightcrawler. For the ranged attack, I love detonating in the fire pits and having spiders come out of them, you know, I think it just adds another element to the game. As another element that the enemies have to deal with, you know, spiders coming for them like alien face huggers. It's horrifying. The Talion Strike is an absolute must. It's a great move whenever you're taking forts to, to like stun enemies, to kill a few enemies at once, and also when you're traveling around the world, it saves so much time. When it comes to the dagger throw, I've opted to go for the Reign of Blades, throwing multiple daggers at once. This can absolutely destroy normal grunts, and if you have my dagger, then it should poison them or set them on fire. This one's really important for having my uh, explosive glaive attack. Deadly Striker basically means as long as you keep tapping X, you'll just keep uh, chaining the glaive attack as it goes into people. Not sure how you say that word. Is it glaive? Is it glaive? I'm sure you'll all let me know in the comments. This is the most important skill in the game, which is the Waters of Lorien. And uh, basically you're tapping A to dash around and it is such an important skill. It makes combat so much easier, you can zip around, you can get out of combat when you're in danger, whenever you're fighting an enemy captain, you can zip behind them and attack them. Honestly lads, always use this skill, I think it's the best one by far to have. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any more specific questions, put them in the comments down below, I'll try to answer each of them. And uh, yeah, cheers guys, have a good one. Subscribe.
for more of that delicious Shadow of War content. Come on, it's probably free to do. And if it isn't, maybe it's worth the money. I don't know. I haven't checked it out yet. But you can trust me. I'm an anonymous voiceover. Those are very trustworthy.